What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, I'm going to show you how to avoid some common mistakes that people make their first time growing peppers. So today, I'm going to plant 20 pepper plants in these five garden rows. I'm going to plant four in each row. Peppers are super easy to grow, but there are still some things you should know before you start planting. Today, I'm going to talk about some mistakes that I made so you don't have to make them. first mistake you want to avoid when growing peppers is planting them in compact soil. You don't want to plant your peppers in compact red clay like this. You have to mix your red clay with compost or soil from the store to loosen it up because peppers hate compact soil. So make sure you don't make that mistake because if you make that mistake your peppers won't even grow at all because the roots can't grow in this compact soil. And also, you don't want to plant your peppers in sandy soil like that. I know this might look like sandy soil, but let's go check it out. Check this out. You see this? This is not sand. I dug holes in each of these rows, and I put tons of compost in all of these holes. I filled them up. So check it out. You see that? This is not sand. That over there is sandy soil. So it might look like I'm planting in sandy soil, but I'm not. So check it out. You can see. Look. You see that? It's not like this right here. You don't want to plant your peppers in this type of soil. Another common mistake that people make when growing peppers is forgetting to stake them. So, when it comes to staking pepper plants, you don't have to stake all pepper plants because I definitely don't. But what I have found out is that when I don't stake bell pepper plants, they always break in half or I always have bell peppers growing on the ground. So this right here is the reason why that I said next year we need to make sure that we plant our pepper plants with bamboo sticks or some kind of support to hold them up because you'll come outside and your pepper plant will look like this. See we just left this alone and let it go just to see how it does but this is exactly how your pepper plants will look. Well this is how some of your pepper plants will look if you don't use any bamboo stick or any support to hold up your pepper plants. Like this one is leaning to the side. Check out these. See how it's leaning over? This one as well. Leaning over to the side. So you don't want to just plant your bell pepper plants without staking them. But I've also found out when you grow a lot of bell pepper plants together, you might not have to stake them. But when you're growing them with as much space as I'm planting these pepper plants, it's a great idea to stake them. But check this out. You see? Check out the soil. See that? That is not sand. That is tons of compost. Right now, I'm just making sure it's super loose. And this is a yellow bell pepper plant. And this is how you take your pepper plants out of the container easy so now all we have to do is get our bamboo stick
all we have to do now is take a twist tie and tie it around our pepper plant like this. Don't tie it super tight. Just make sure you tie it tight enough where it holds up your pepper plant. The third common mistake that people make their first time growing peppers is not feeding your pepper plant. A pepper plant is not a plant you could just plant and walk away and have success. You have to make sure you feed your pepper plants to get great results. And if you're wondering what kind of pepper plant this is, this is a habanada pepper plant. So, what do you feed your pepper plants? You can feed your pepper plant any kind of all-purpose fertilizer, fish fertilizer, or some compost. You just need to make sure you have them on some type of feeding schedule. And what I mean by that is you need to make sure you fertilize them every week or every two weeks. So check it out, we got a yellow bell pepper, two habanada peppers, and a Tobago pepper. Which leads me to my next common mistake that people make their first time growing peppers. And that's thinking that you can't plant sweet and hot peppers together. That is 1000% not true. You can plant sweet and hot peppers together all you want. The only thing you have to remember is that the original plant that you planted, if you save those seeds, it might not be the same seeds that you planted. What I mean by that is, if you plant a yellow bell pepper next to a habanero pepper, those seeds might be a yellow habanero bell pepper. So it's actually kind of cool thinking you can make your own type of peppers. So that's the only thing you have to remember when you plant sweet and hot peppers together. But it won't affect these plants. And what I mean by that is this yellow bell pepper won't be hot because it's planted next to a habanero pepper. But those seeds might not be a yellow bell pepper. They might be a yellow habanero mixture or something that's new. Check out this sunflower growing in the compost pile. Check it out. Remember what it looked like two weeks ago? Look at it now. So when should you plant your pepper plants? You should plant your pepper plants when your nighttime temperatures are at least above 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Because if you're in zone seven like us and you planted your pepper plants, let's say what, two, three, four weeks ago, your pepper plants are probably dead. Why? Because pepper plants hate cold temperatures. So, today is May 9th and we're planting our pepper plants in zone seven. This right here is a lemon jalapeno pepper plant. Something I like to do with my pepper plants is to make like some type of barrier like this around it so it gets a lot of water because if I didn't do that a lot of water would just run off so that's just something I like to do. But I'll do that after I finish planting them all. But you see what I'm talking about? Check it out. Get a little lower. You see how it's going down? That's so all the water don't just run off. Let us know in the comment section which pepper variety you're excited about growing this year. Check this out. You don't want to plant your pepper plants too deep. You want to plant them just like that. 
It's perfect. So a lot of people always ask me in the comment section, why are my pepper plants not big like yours? And that could probably be two different reasons if you planted your pepper plants in the right soil. So if you planted your pepper plants in the right soil, the two reasons your pepper plants are not big like mine's is probably because you made another common mistake that people make their first time growing peppers by planting your peppers in small containers. If you plant your pepper plant in a small container, it's not gonna grow super big because the roots can't spread out far. Just like our fruit trees, they're not gonna get super big because the roots can't go as far as that container. So when you plant your pepper plant, you don't want to plant in a container like this unless you want a small harvest. You want to plant in a container like this or a container like that. Not a super small container like that because you will always end up with the small pepper plant. So after watching this video, you should never make this mistake again and plant your pepper plant in a small container. You want to at least plant your pepper plant in a three or five gallon container. You don't want to plant your pepper plant in a one gallon container because you're not going to get great results. Another way I grow super big and bushy pepper plants is by pruning them. So check it out. You see this? This has already been pruned. And what this does is make your pepper plant branch out. So look. Let me zoom in and show you guys exactly what I do. See that? So we're going to take this off right here. Just like this. And it's that simple. And what this is going to do is make your pepper plant branch out. Because all of these branches see that right there Let's see it's gonna start branching out this and that right there oh, look, let me show you guys one more time how easy it is see that we're gonna take this off just like that and it's that simple So right here, we're going to plant one of my favorite pepper varieties. And it's called Lemon Drop. I think habanero and lemon drop are our favorite peppers. So check it out. Here's an example of what happens after you prune it. You see that? See it branching out? We pruned it right there. See, now it's branching out. One, two, three. Instead of it just being one single branch. So this is what happens after you prune your pepper plants. I think we pruned this one maybe uh what two three weeks ago and i almost forgot the same thing that i was talking about about growing your peppers in small or big containers the same thing applies to the ground and what i mean by that is you don't just want to dig a tiny hole and plant your peppers you want to make sure the hole is nice and big so your roots have room to grow so your plant can grow super big you don't just want to uh, plant your pepper plants in a hole like this. Watch this. Oh, fill that up with compost. Plant your pepper plant. No, that's not going to give you great results. You want to make sure you dig your hole wide and deep. It doesn't have to be super deep, but you know, you want to make sure it's deeper than what I just showed you. At least the same size as a three gallon container or a five gallon bucket. And if you do that, trust me, you'll grow big peppers just like this. 
easy. I think I'm gonna plant a habanero pepper plant right here. You know what? I'm gonna actually plant three. Cause remember, like I said, these and lemon drop are our favorites. So I'm gonna plant one right here, one right here, one right there. And back there, I'm gonna plant a scotch bonnet pepper. And another tip to help feed your soil is to leave the roots in the ground because those roots are gonna help feed your soil. So our last row, we're gonna plant all cayenne pepper plants. So check it out, now that we got all 20 pepper plants in the ground, all we have to do now is fertilize and water. So if you avoid these common mistakes, I guarantee you will grow big and healthy pepper plants. Trust me. It's that easy. It's nothing like harvesting your own peppers. Especially if you make spices like us because when you add those spices to your food, it makes everything a thousand times better. That's why we like growing all different type of peppers. Can't believe I'm planting peppers so late this year because of the weather. Last year, I think I planted peppers, um, let's see, what, April 19th? This year I'm planting peppers May 9th. That's another thing I like about making videos. I actually get to document what I'm doing and how I'm doing it because it's another learning process in the garden that everything doesn't stay the same every year